Uh, the 26 your name, are you going to go with them or have you had to rethink it? No, no, we'll go, actually I think we'll go 25. Um, so the, we had match committee a couple of days ago um, and decided on playing 25 this week. So we're happy with that and we're really happy with the squad that we're going to put on the park tomorrow. Who do you take out of the 26, do you know you're not going to play? Uh, not at this stage. So you, the numbers, it's just too cumbersome with eight on the bench, is that what you A little bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah, definitely. So how do you run the timelines with you? Uh, well, that's that's pretty much done on the vents, bench, bench Ruchi, um, uh, Ruch, sorry. Um, so the, I guess our HPT guys are, are monitoring the rotations really carefully and closely and, and trying to get game time in, into all the players and, and the, the required game time, you know, for their best preparation for round one. So that's helped sort of manage that down on the bench. So what are you putting down as what you need out of this game? Look, oh, it's interesting when you when you look at the JLT series, um, I guess primarily it's a, it's a really good opportunity for players that have had a really good pre-season under their belt to, to finally get to, to play in, a, in serious competition. We had that opportunity a couple of weeks ago against Fremantle and we got a, a look at a, a few new of the, a few of the, the newer younger guys. Um, so I think, look, overall it, it does give us that, but it also, I guess, allows us to implement some of the principles and strategies and I guess if you're, for a better word, uh, the game plan and, and the style and any tweaks and changes that we've made, it gives us an opportunity to um, to have a look at that against you know serious heat and serious opposition. How serious is the opportunity for Dodo, Murphy, and Fogarty? Look, it's very serious, absolutely, and, and I guess that's why they're on the side playing playing tomorrow. Um, we saw young Lockie Murphy a couple of weeks ago against Fremantle. You know, he played a really important role for us forward. He, he was able to pressure and, and hit the scoreboard as well. You know, Tommy Duda is another player that's impressed me, and no doubt impressed the other coaching staff, particularly Ben Hart, who looks after our backs. Um, he's impressed us over the course of the preseason. And Fogarty, uh, you know, uh, one of those guys who I would expect would make a, an immediate impact when he plays. Um, and really looking forward to, to what he can produce tomorrow. You, you lived as a player at Port Adelaide, wanting to win showdowns because you felt it gave you always an edge. Yep. Do you sense that you're still trying to protect that in this showdown because of what Adelaide has had over Port Adelaide? Oh, look, I think if you, if you ask from a personal point of view, um, whenever you walk onto the field, no matter who you're playing, you know, you want to create a winning culture. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, and the way that players are managed throughout the course of the pre-season, I've used that term a bit, but um, it's important, I guess, primarily to get them and give them the best preparation for round one. Um, but ultimately, we're still playing to win. Um, and I guess that's the attitude I take into tomorrow. So pride always is going to win out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I guess you could say that. Do you like the idea of a summer showdown? Would you prefer to sort of hold them off until the regular season? Oh, look, I, I think when you start talking showdowns, to be to be really honest with you, I, again, from a personal perspective, um, you know, it's 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 not a, we're not playing for four points, um, and as as I said, primarily it's a, it's a, an opportunity for the coaching staff to to best prepare our players, and like I said, we're, we we have the opportunity to play against a, a very good opposition in Port Adelaide. Um, you know, I guess that's the, the focus going into tomorrow. Brad Crouch, where's he at at the moment? And like, is there a chance for him to get some game time like, next week in a, some sort of trial game before yeah. round one? Look, Brad Crouch, you know, interesting one. I had a little bit of uh, a few hiccups recently. Um, but no doubt, once again, the HPT staff are doing everything they can to, again, to manage him um, and best prepare him to give him every opportunity to play round one. So that'll be the focus for Brad going forward. So how close then is this to, to the round one team? Is it... Is it oh, just that's, about complete? That's a question I can't answer. No, look, there'll be changes. I, I guess who knows what's going to come out of tomorrow as far as injuries are concerned and I guess players putting their hand up or, or, or otherwise. So um, I guess to, you know, how close it's going to be to round one, who knows. What reception are you expecting? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest with you, Roach. Um, no, look, it's interesting. That's a question that's been asked quite a lot of me over the, over the last three or four months, um, you know, going to the opposition, going to the arch enemy. But... Look, I think as a player, you sort of develop, you develop a, you know, that fierce rivalry. And I know some people have used the word of hatred towards the opposition. Um, and I guess as a player, that was something, and as, as a group playing at Port Adelaide, that was something that, that I guess built us up for the, for the big showdowns, and they are big games. Um, but I guess coming in and, and now being involved as a coach, um, and I don't use this word flippantly, but it, you know, it's a job, and, and obviously, and ultimately, um, I'm trying to do the best job I can to best prepare our, our players. So I guess walking into West Lakes and, and having the involvement here, it's, um, I guess it's a bit of a different look on things. Um, but it's something that you know, I've really enjoyed in the early stages of my time here and no doubt looking forward to continue that, I guess that 
I guess, phase of my coaching transition to, you know, to best prepare the player. Does it make you, are you more relaxed now than when you were as a player and that intensity that you and oh, I Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. You can, you can sit back and let the players deal with all the, the on-field stuff and you can, as I said, yeah, no, definitely. Definitely, it's a different focus. How have you approached taking charge of the most exciting forward line in the league, Josh? Well, probably that word you use, it's, it's exciting. Um, you know, you talk about the, the personnel that we have up, up forward and um, it is an exciting forward line. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a forward line that, that does function well when we're, we're up and firing and um, you know, again, interestingly, walking into into Westlake's, you know, the beginning of November, um, and getting to, to know and, and work with the forwards there, you know, they're, they're quality individuals as are you know all the players on the list. Um, but I've enjoyed building relationships with the players, and I guess it's one of those things that I suppose as a coach, you're not coming in and, and looking to reinvent the wheel because the wheel looks pretty good at the moment. But I guess it's um, you know trying to make minor adjustments to, to hopefully improve the, the function of the forward line. And, and I guess ultimately that's what we're trying to do as a, as a, as a forward line and, and ultimately as a group as well. So you've seen the pre-season, it's all about implementing structures. What have you seen in the first pre-season game and what do you have to see in this pre-season game from a forward point of view to know that you're on track for round one? Look, it's interesting, uh, I'm not sure if you're up at Strathalbyn, no doubt you would have seen the game, it's a pretty tight ground, it was, it was obviously quite small. Um, and I, I guess from Fremantle's point of view and our point of view, it was difficult. To, to get your ball movement going as, as you would have liked. So I guess ultimately that sort of affects the, the forwards. Um, but, you know, we go to Alberton tomorrow. It's a good-sized deck. Uh, looks like, I guess to answer your question, it's really just trying to have a look at how they function as a group. There's some, you know, a few new faces up there, as we've mentioned before, um, how they function as a group and, and um, I guess, give feedback accordingly. So what's that challenge oh, like to get the new faces into the system and performing well around Jenkins, Lynch, Betts, Walker? So how much? Like, what's the challenge been like to get the new faces oh. to make sure that they are on the same page? Look, yeah, it's funny. It's, it's, it hasn't really been a challenge at all. And I guess because, you know, I mentioned the, the quality individuals that we've got, you know, character types we've got in our forward line, um, they're really willing and able to help the young guys and, and I guess almost become coaches out in the field with them. And, and they've been terrific for, for the guys of, um, you know, the names of Darcy Fogarty and, and, and little Lockie Murphy and, and even, you know, Harry Deer throughout the course of the pre-season. So, you know, they've been terrific in that space and I guess it, you know, talk about challenges, integrating them into the group has been relatively you know, pain-free. Still expect to have Walker for round one? Look, he's doing, again, he's doing everything he can. Yeah, no doubt. He, um, you know, had that, I guess, that, that bit of a hiccup um, a few weeks back. But having watched him train, um, he'll be doing everything he can to, to prepare and, and play round one. Will he be able to get a game next week? Like, is there an intra club or not intra club, but some sort of trial, like a reserves trial that may oh, be organised? I can't answer that. I don't know. Okay. Unless I don't know. Okay. What about check with Ryan? The other one's Wayne Miller. Is he playing yep. sample trial tomorrow? I played a bit in the intra last week. How's he look at the moment? Yeah. Again, another player that's had a, a few hiccups over the course of the last you know few weeks, and um, he comes back. Whether he's you know time limited tomorrow, we're not sure. Um, but it's just good to see him out in the park, considering the I guess the, the hurdles he's had to jump over the last three or four weeks. So, really exciting for us. He's you know he's been training very well, um, and we all know he's a beautiful ball user. And yeah. looking forward to, to seeing him put the boots on tomorrow. Is halfback sort of his spot now? Uh, I'm not sure. 